This show is sponsored by PrintByMagic.com. We print directly to your bicycle playing card. Hello and welcome to the Magic World Review Show. I am James Anthony. This week it is just me, no Sam I'm afraid, but maybe he'll be on next week, who knows? Um, this week I am going to be reviewing three products. Uh, first of all, it was going to be one, now I've decided last minute to throw some more into the equation. Uh, this week it is going to be Quantum Angel by Paul Harris and uh, Bro Gilbert. So, Bro Gilbert, then we're going to be doing the Sucker Coin Box, which has just uh, arrived in. We've been selling nicely, so I thought I would integrate it in. And then we have the Metallic Deck Set, which we're going to end on this one, uh, which will be showing you close-ups of this cool pack of cards and what we honestly think about it, because we've not even opened these, I've not even looked at them, so it's going to be a raw review just based on what we see, not necessarily too much on the tutorials that are inside. Um, so that's the structure of this week's review show. And of course, we have the winner to last week's review show, which will be automatically picked via the system at one o'clock tomorrow. So um, that will be placed in the show more section. So the winner to last week's show will be in the show more section right there saying competition winner. There'll be three winners who've won three packs of cards and the winners are announced there. So just make sure you check the show more section and you have probably uh, been with a, in with a good chance of winning. I hope you enjoyed that competition. It was a lot of fun. I had a lot of people uh, commenting. And I think quite of you saying as well that you'd prefer to have maybe had a competition where you had uh, had to enter with some skill or do some magic or do something more creative. So for the future, we're going to start to integrate that in maybe next week into a brand new competition. So here's a quick question. Before we start this week's review show, what would you like from a competition? Uh, give me your comments down below. Uh, do you want to do trick off contests? Do you want to do card contests, coin trick contests? Do you want to mix it up every week with something completely different? Uh, do you want to contest every week or every couple of weeks? Uh, give us an idea of what you're looking for and we will do our best to bring this to you. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on with this week's review show. So we're going to be reviewing Quantum Angel by Paul Harris. Let's cut to a trailer of this product now. <laughs> No! <laughs> what? Okay, uh, what's her name? Riley. Riley, okay. Riley. What's on the other side? What does it say? It says Riley! Oh. What? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> what does it say on the other side? I just want to ask you if you know anybody in your life that you're close with, somebody who's almost like angelic like, you know somebody like that? Yeah, what's her name? Uh, her name's Grace. Nicest person in the world, uh, like almost like an angel. Okay. Do you know someone like that you have a close connection um, with? Or? I'm going to try and write down what I think her lucky card is. Open your hand. I know you can do this. Okay, put your other hand on top. <laughs> put your other hand on top and on top of the... I don't want anyone to see it yet. Just put it there. We'll get back to that later. Now what I have here is a special pack of angel cards. They're very rare. They look like normal cards, but are made to do a very special thing. On the back of the angel card, the angel is actually riding a bicycle. She's holding her hands on the handlebar and she's riding a bicycle. I don't know if you ever knew that or not. Yeah. Just a little interesting fact. Because um, if she lets go, she flies away. But anyway, so I want you to um, open up your hand. I'm going to go through the cards. And all I want you to do is say stop as I go through the cards. Oh, yeah, no, because it's a trick. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, when, like when there's a certain number? Or? No, whenever you feel like it. I'm going to go through, and whenever you feel the need to, you just stop me. Stop. 
Are you sure? Right there? Okay, look. Here's the card you stopped me at. I want you to peek at it. Do you see it? Yeah. Do you guys see the card she stopped at? Yeah. Yeah? And you too? Yeah. Okay. Now, you could have kept going a little farther if you wanted to, but you didn't. You stopped here. And you could have even stopped at one of these cards if you wanted to, right? But I didn't. But you didn't. That's right. So, it was pretty fair, though. What was the card you stopped at, though? You can tell me now. Eight of diamonds. Eight of diamonds. Was it, it was... Yeah. That's weird, because I, I wrote down what I thought your friend's lucky card was going to be, so you must have a connection ah, with her. Eight of diamonds. What? Bro. No. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> No. <laughs> what? I don't understand that. I'm confused. This guy. This guy. Dude. You had that in your hand. <laughs> so there's actually something I didn't tell you guys about this deck. Um, there's a hidden message within it. Do you see the angel in the center? Yeah. She, did you see her yeah, do anything? Yeah, yeah. No? Here, I'll turn around to the other side of the packet so you can see the other side. Did, did you see anything happen to the angel? No? Yeah, yeah. Let's him go. All right, one last time. I'm going to hold these up here so that you guys can see. Do you see anything happen to the angel? Oh, 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 oh. Right, she has a message what? that she brought back from inside the circle there. Look, there's a message. The angel wrote a message. What's on the other side of the message? Oh, what? 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 Oh, my God. I don't know. <laughs> 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 Who are you? Yeah, you can keep it. It's all you. You can keep yeah, everything. Can I do it? <laughs> okay, I'm back. Uh, that is Quantum Angel. Nice packaging. I like this, and I was dead excited about getting this. Why? Because it just looked so nice. It would take me back to the good old days, Twilight Angel and different things happening and, and the backs of the cards and the angel. And I just thought, this has the potential to be something really, really good. So, what does it retail at? It retails at £31.99. And is it worth the price? Let's get the first question. Uh, it's worth the price 100%. It's easily worth £31.99, mainly because of the amount of cool things you get in the package. So it's not like uh, a lot of tricks nowadays that just come with a, a bit of thread and a bit of that. You know, we've got a few like that. And basically, you know, you have to do it all yourself. Everything is made up pretty much from start to finish. Pretty much everything is in the package all done. You have to just make maybe a little bit of things for the Sharpie pen, but that's all I'm going to say. You have... Oh, that's somebody on the live chat. Let me just... Disconnect the live chat by magic... No, it's probably live chat at the end of the day saying we have now logged off because it's five o'clock. And if it goes off again, we'll cut the show. So what do I think of uh, Quantum Angel? Just so you know, if you're on our website and you fill out the little live chat, that's the annoying sound I get all day long, nonstop, because I've not got round to changing it. Um, okay, so you get loads of cool goodies inside here. That's what we've established. I'm not going to show you too much. I'm just going to show you you get uh, the block of special cards that you'll be using. Uh, not special, but, well, slightly. And the nicest thing about this is that they are on bicycle stock. So, going by the trailer, you can show both sides of these, and next minute the angel will animate and pull out an envelope from one of the little round circles. And it is so cute, it's so cool, and I love the little envelope at the end. I love it. And... You get these with it, they're printed by bicycle, on bicycle, so you're getting great quality cards, none of that mandolin stuff and all these other things, which I, I can't stand because I don't use mandolin. I don't use any other but bicycle cards uh, or my Aquaticas. So, uh, for me, this was a nice little package, and it's nice to have those printed cards in as well. So you're getting value for money here. But then, they don't stop there. You get loads of extra things here. I'm not going to show you what's inside this bag. But this is something to do with a Sharpie. Um, and it's really cool what you get inside. Really cool. Uh, so when it's done, it allows you to... You can write uh, secret messages. In, basically, to give you the idea is, of course, a little message is written inside the, um, the little envelope. And you can control those messages if you so wish. And it's nice because they're written in red or a different colour than a regular Sharpie pen. So that's quite a nice element to it as well. Then you have not one envelope but two envelopes, that's all I'm going to show you, and uh, these are used very, very well, they're nice and strong envelopes, but if you need to, you can make them again, uh, but you won't need to for a long time, and 
you get loads of cool things inside one of these envelopes as well, all the little messages, you know, on craft paper. So all together, you're getting a lot in your package here. And on top of that, you get great quality instructions on the inside. You have to download them, I'm afraid, or watch them, stream them, and uh, like everything nowadays. But the instructions were clear. I mean, they jumped around a little bit, I'll say, but at the same time, you know, it had lots of shots on a sofa and him going through the different routines, uh, kind of jumping from place to place to place. What I would have probably liked is a little bit better sort of uh, category, like we had on True. Everything was itemized at the exact times. I could just find them so easily. Every little part of the tricks. Whereas this was more, I think about five different categories you could jump to them, but it, was, it wasn't quite as well structured. But the quality of what you get on it and the teaching is great. We had close-up cameras on the front, teaching you how to do all the little intricate stuff. Uh, so you get to see everything you need to see, you get taught everything you need to get taught, and you get loads of extra bonuses and ideas as well with it. Because uh, there's literally so many, you can do unlimited messages inside these little envelopes. You get two special little envelopes, they're nice and small, really compact, really cute, and it's so nice that they can take out that little message at the end and it says, uh, your playing card is a five of diamonds or um, look underneath the floorboard and underneath the floorboard is, is the magic or something, you know. It, open, it opens up to kids parties, it opens up to professional walk around magic, it opens up stage with a camera, there's so many cool areas which you could be doing magic with with this trick. So for me, I'm going to stop rambling on, I'm just going to give this a rating out of 10 because for $31.99, now this is the kind of magic that we like to receive for that price. Uh, I think it's brilliant. I think you'll have a lot of fun performing it and the tuition is great. So out of 10, let's give this a rating. Da, 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 da. Oh, difficulty level before I do that. Difficulty level I would say is mm, mm, easy to medium. I'd say pretty much easy as easy could get. Um, only if you're doing something with the Sharpie, a bit of writing, that's the only slight more difficulty, but it's not really difficult at all. So I'd say, I'd say beginner to intermediate, not total beginner, but you know, if you've been into magic for a few months, you kind of got into it, you got your head around it, then this is great. It's great for mentalists and it's great for mind readers. It's great for just regular magicians as well. So out of 10, I'm going to give this a 9.5 out of 10 because I really like it. Boom. There we go. Uh, let's move on to product number two. Da, 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 da. Uh, this product is the Sucker Coin Box by Mr. Magic. If we have a, a video for this, let's just cut to it now. And if we don't, or if we do, uh, we are back. And that is the Sucker Box. Yes, so here we have. We have a nice little box and we have a nice little coin. You put the coin into the box and all I'm going to do is snap my fingers and the coin vanishes. Look, I can do exactly the same the other way. It vanishes. Woohoo! Watch, I can do the same the other way. It's vanished! I can keep doing this all day long. It's gone! Hey! hey. Um, watch, when I make it vanish from there, it's really cool, isn't it? Where is it, kids? Where is it, adults? Whatever. It's not there either. Woohoo! Um, that is the Sucker Die Box. Super easy to do and very, very well made as well. So, well, no, sorry, I just, I just said that with Automatic Pilot. No, uh, what I'm going to say is, it's not the most robust thing in the world, but for the price of what you paid for it, which is £9.50, it's a nice little addition. Um, I'd say, from my particular copy right here, there's a few blemishes on the wood here. It's kind of like lamination going over the top of wood. So, obviously, underneath there's something with the wood there that's a bit chipped. Uh, so it's laminate around wood, which gives it that effect. And the hinges are very, very, you know, pretty flimsy as well. But having said that, again, it's all about the price. And for the price of it, it's very good. It's got a little addition on the back of it as well, which you can use to your advantage. That's all I'm going to say. And for what you get, I think it's a lovely little, lovely little box. I used to love this as a, the large version. You do it for kids. I think it will last a long time as long as you're careful with these hinges. Because the hinges, I think they probably will, would very easily, if you catch it the wrong way or hit it against something, those would just come flying off. Um, they're riveted on, so it would take a little bit more work just to fix them. Uh, but you could, let's be honest, you could just go out and get some little hinges from a craft shop and fix it very easily as well. So uh, uh, I think that it's really nice. I think it's uh, simply made and 
I think it does the job. It does exactly what you expect for £9.49 or £9.50. And so, yeah, that's what it's been selling like crazy on our website, this. And I've got to admit, I quite like it. Will I be carrying this to Manic Walk Around gig? No, unless I can think of just a, unless it's kind of like a, a throwaway bit of fun that you just kind of like bring in and it's like, hey, let's do this. Uh, have this in the back pocket if there's a kid around. But uh, you'd have to think of a situation that works for you. But for me, for you know, professional walk around magic, I don't want to be carrying anything even close to this size in my pockets. But it's a nice little simple version of the large effect that you can carry with you. Perfect for a little mini parlor show, or if you've got a trick with coins, integrate it in. So yeah, and it comes with paper instructions, none of that video stuff. And I'll be honest with you, I've not even looked at the instructions. So uh, yeah, very, very simple and it tells you the effect and the presentation and, uh, and all that. So yeah, that is the Sucker Coin Box. I give it a rating out of 10, and I'm gonna give this a very, very, very nice, ooh, actually, just because of the blemishes on the wood, just because of the hinges, maybe, I don't know, I'm gonna give this, just because of the way it's made, the actual wood and things, I'm gonna give this a seven out of 10. But I think the actual trick itself is a 9 or a 10 out of 10. It's great fun to do. It's fantastic. The only thing that's bringing it down is just those little blemishes here. Uh, and But at the end of the day, it's the price. So maybe it's more like an 8. I don't know. But 7 out of 10, I'm going to stick with that. It's a nice little product. Uh, is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. But it does the job, which is more than you can ask for, for £9.50. So uh, uh, nice 7 out of 10 for the Sucker Die Box. Uh, let's move on. Sucker Coin Box, sorry. Now, that is the end of the main two products. Well, I say that before we now change the camera angle onto the main stage, the biggest product. Uh, I say that just because I, I was in two minds about these playing cards. We have the metallic playing cards. Uh, let's just cut to a quick trailer of this now. <laughs> Okay, we're back. So these are the metallic limited edition sets. You get this and you get this. And I'll tell you the offer right now and at the end, but while stocks last, you also get a pack of Roris and Sinners uh, for free as well, worth £10.99. So for £27.49, uh, you're also getting that worth a tenner. So it's pretty much a bargain. Uh, you're getting these for like £7.50 each for like silver foil and all this, it's amazing. So. What we're going to do is cut down now to a shot of the table. Okay, so let's open these for the very first time. Uh, let's get rid of the sinners for the minute. Uh, here we have the, the gold and the silver, of course. Shiner deck, metallic plated, mechanic industries. So um, loving that, loving the seal already, loving the seal here. Now let's open, I'm gonna open up both of these just to go crazy because I was dead excited about getting these myself. 
So uh, let's see if they open up as I would a normal deck of bikes. No, they go the opposite direction. Okay, sounds good. Boom, look at that. Oh, they look fantastic. Let's do the same with these so they're just ready to go. Uh, open them up. Yes, we're in. Wow, and they're even shinier than you expect when you take off that. Wow, I'm not sure if you can see that. Yeah, you can. That is just awesome. Uh, let's have a look at the back here. Designed and produced by Mechanic Industries Limited. MechanicIndustries.com, 2017, by United States Playing Card Company. Yeah, so what I like straight away is the thickness. Uh, they are feeling rather thin. And that's what I like, is these thin type of cards now, rather than uh, the thicker ones that you get out and they're massive. So I'm going to, I was going to say attempt to open these nice and neatly. I'm going to open them the way I would any other deck of bikes, like that. That's my secret way of opening it. And uh, there we go. Oh, now look at that. Uh, that is cool as and beautiful. And uh, yes, I am impressed with that. So... Let's get on to taking the cards out. And what I like, even the flaps that are silver as well. That is so cool. Uh, let's take them out. 50% off premium downloads. Uh, just making sure that uh, one of the following discount codes. So, yeah, I'm just going to move that, hide that away. Uh, discount code, yeah, premium magic tutorials. Okay. That's just for the future. So, it's advertising their deck of cards so they don't buy it from us. Uh, but, anyway, that's done. Uh, but let's have a look at the back of it. Ooh, I like that as well. So nice silver, fine tune your magic, and it tells you the website and workshops and how to use the playing cards and mark deck and gain you access to your free tutorial. Join the mechanic workshop. So that's telling you how to get into uh, there and watch your tutorials, uh, which I've heard is pretty good. So you can have a lot of fun watching those tutorials with your deck of cards. And, uh, of course, you have to have this pack of cards for it to work, so it doesn't matter if, even if you've seen it from that what I showed you a minute ago. So let's have a little look here. So here's the first thing. These are not metallic like here. So it's not metallic ink on the backs of the cards, but I didn't expect so for the price, to be honest. Uh, I like the grey, and uh, I also love... I love this here, Fixing Game Since 2012. It is just a mechanical deck of cards, isn't it? It just looks really cool. And I love the idea of the marking system on it as well. So, oh, now there's a beautiful thing. So that's that's pretty much why most people have bought this, I think. Uh, just for that eye candy there. Oh, it looks so cool. Uh, let's do it this way. Boom. So now, the beautiful thing about this is there is a marking system on this, which I'm going to learn, and I will tell you about it next week, if it's any good or not. But what I say is, now it doesn't really matter what the marking system is, um, that the fact that the backs jump around, because they're jumping around for a reason. They're jumping around because of the cogs. So for me, that's just absolutely gorgeous. And now the fact that you can tell what playing cards are as well uh, is just brilliant. And I'm guessing just by these things here, these cogs here, you can tell very easily what the playing card is. Is that a three? No, it's a jack. I'm just guessing here how the marking system works. Um, and that king? No, that's Joker. That's where they're all full. So yeah, there's a marking system on it. There we go, we're giving it away. Giving it away. But uh, from what I can see, all these markings on the back, they're very visible. Even from a good couple of feet away, I can see exactly which ones are empty and which ones aren't, which I guess will help to, uh, in terms of the design. It's not like such a tiny little design to try and work out what the card is. It's quite visible as well. So, oh, and you've got some in the corners here which are different, like a little empty one here and a full one here. So, uh, there's, I'm guessing these play a part as well in the whole process of marking and knowing what the cards are. But, as I always say, Spectator will have no idea whatsoever about any of this. Uh, let's move on to the, the faces. Okay, plain Ace of Clubs. Let's, let's find them out. Joker. I like plain Jokers. Uh, let's do again. Oh, we're going to get one of these jokers so you can pull out the middle and do that kind of cool magic stuff with it. Uh, let's have a look at this joker. There you get another joker the same here. Then let's go through the cards and just see what they look like. So Ace of Clubs. They look almost smaller pips than the normal playing cards. I might be wrong here. Yeah, they are definitely smaller. So these are definitely smaller than most bicycle cards. Uh, but the three is the same, but the, three, the club is smaller again. So 
that's a bit of an unusual thing. So I think, will that hinder you uh, integrating it with a regular deck of bicycles? I'm not 100% sure, but uh, let's go to the jack. There's a jack, there's a queen, holding, is that a rose or a dagger? Ooh, no, it's a, it's a, it is a flower of some kind. And we have, of course, the kings. Uh, I like the silver, I like the mix of that, and Mechanic Industries again. Shiner deck, yep, there we go. And go back through the spades, let's get to the spades. Jack, queen, and king of spades. Ace of hearts, no addition to that. But I like the colours of this. Rather than being the normal red of bicycle, it's just a little bit darker, and I, I do like that now. I think it's cool, more classy. And diamonds all the way through to here. So yes, all in all, I'm not a cardistry guy by any means, but uh, I think these are handling pretty nicely to me. Yeah, they are handling nice. Let's give them a little shuffle like this. Do -do 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 -do. Yep, they are handling very, very nice. Let's give them a shuffle like this. Yep, now the nice thing is they're not too... Because they're thinner, the cards, they're going to be really good for doing uh, those right from the very back. And that's what I love, is when you can get a pack of cards and you don't have to do a lot of work, and they're ready to go right from the stretch. So yeah, I absolutely love these cards. What I would have liked, I guess, would be a slightly thinner border. I like it when it's kind of like a tiny white border rather than a thick white border. But that's just my own personal preference. I'm sure you have your own as well. So there we go. That is the silver version of these cards. And uh, yeah, they look very classy. I'm sure you'll agree. Let's have a very quick look. Oh, the nicest thing, of course, don't forget, is the box, which you can, you can set up here in special ways. Without going into too much detail, <clears throat> you can do some cool little tricks with this box. Uh, let's have a look on the inside of the box. Yep, all silver. So, loving that idea, and I think a lot of you will have some fun with that as well. So, there we go. Let's put them back inside. Finally, I will show you the gold one very quickly, just because it's exactly the same as a silver, just in gold. Let's go through these. Okay, there we go. The instruction card again. Nice and clean. Uh, let's put that over there. And the gold. Wow, okay. I wasn't sure if there'd be much difference, but the gold is beautiful again. Can you see cards easily in here? And I think if that was planned the correct way, it would help if I actually had a card with something on. Yes, you can very clearly get an image still. It's a little bit blurred, but you, you know, enough to do the job. Let's fan them. Yep, they look nice. Again, thick white borders, but uh, the gold looks nice and classy. Don't know which I prefer now, the gold or the silver. Let's have a look and see if the Jack, Queens and Kings are any different. Yep, we've now got gold and uh, gold mechanic industries. So, yeah, uh, all in all, nice pack of cards. I... I'm really enjoying these cards. I think I will have a lot of fun with them. So I'm going to give these a rating out of 10 right now while we're in this position rather than moving again. Uh, so a rating for this deck of cards, well, for the price of it, £27.49, you get these two packs of cards, the limited edition set, and to make it all worth while even more, right now for one more week and only one more week, you're getting the Roros and Sinners for free with every order from Magic World. And these are worth £10.50 or £10.99, I can't remember. So to get them with these for free is an absolute bargain for £27.49. Uh, I personally have got one of these I'm not even opening up and that's going to be my uh, collection which might hopefully be worth some more money one day. But uh, there's only 2,500 of these decks being made. So if I were you, I would get in there really quick with these uh, because they are awesome, cool. And I think they might have sold out already, but we might have a couple left on the website. And if we do, make sure you grab hold of that offer while you can. So there we go. Uh, I'm going to give it a rating out of 10, and I'm going to give these a whopping 9 out of 10. Why? Because I like them, and because I can. Thank you for watching the review of The Shiner and The Glimmer Deck, The Metallic deck. Boom! Limited edition. Thank you very much for tuning into this week's review show. Uh, just before we go, just letting you know some quick bits of news is that we do have now Vapor back in stock. So Vapor is back in stock. There's very few of these left. Uh, they're fully sold out again. So if you want one of these, we've got about, I think we've got three or four in the shop. Make sure you get in quick because uh, they will fly off the shelves. Also, Proteus, we've just had a brand new batch of Proteus arrive in, so make sure you check this if you haven't already. It's a fantastic, fantastic effect and book. If you haven't seen it, 
Make sure you go back to the review a couple of weeks back for Proteus and you will love this effect. Well, well worth it. And of course, don't forget, double take our own effect. Boom, that's the end of the plugs for this week. So, let's go back to saying goodbye. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Please do share this video with all your friends. Uh, help Magic World UK, which is youtube.com forward slash Magic World UK. Same on Facebook, forward slash Magic World UK. Click the like, click the subscribe, and share it with all your friends. We'll be having some big competitions again starting next week, maybe with some bigger prizes. And as we said at the beginning, leave your comments down below and let us know what we can do uh, with competitions that you would like to see. Would you like to have uh, competitions for skills with cards, for coins, for different things? Uh, cardistry or playing cards or set yourselves just some crazy cool challenges. I mean, how's that sound? Let us know what you think. And for myself, James Anthony, have a fantastic week from Magic World. Bye-bye. See you next week.